About a hundred years ago, there lived a girl called Letitia in a small town in Europe. Letitia, here, take your soup. Cabbage soup? I am not having that. I want apple stew or berry pudding or something like that. Certainly not a delightful person. Letitia did not like anything. Nothing was good enough for her. See what father got you? A brand new dress. What a terrible colour! And it has no tassels, and it has no bows or ribbons. Do you know the beautiful golden gown that Laura got the other day? You never got me anything nice. Letitia, this is your new box with new pencils and even a pen with ink. The box looks so old and plain and the ink pot is not big enough and Max's pencils are so much nicer than these. They have faces made over them. Not only was Letitia complaining about what she had, she would also complain about what she had to do. Letitia, have you studied the history chapters I asked you to? I don't like history. Letitia, come here. Let me teach you how to make a plum pie. You know I don't like cooking, Mother. Standing in that hot kitchen before a hot oven is not my idea of a hobby. Besides, a plum pie? Really? Not something I fancy. Nah, maybe tiramisu? But there was one thing that Letitia loved to do. She loved to stand before the green door. You see, there was a tiny green door in the north wall of the garden. The door was so tiny that an adult would have to bend over double to get in. But it was always kept locked. Letitia longed to go inside to see what was there on the other side of the door. She would try her best to convince her parents to let her open it. Letitia, where have you been? Mother, why don't you let me open that green door? Letitia, we have discussed it a million times. You cannot go in because it is best that you never went inside. Now, finish your breakfast and help me clean the attic. For a change that day, Letitia went to help her mother. While they were looking through an old cupboard, they found an old album. She opened it. Mother, who are all these people with Grandpa and Grandma? They are your great-grandfather and great-great-grandfather John Hopkins. This is his wife, Maria Hopkins, and this is his daughter. Peggy Hopkins, your great-grand-aunt. As her mother looked through the album, Letitia noticed a curious-looking box. She opened it. There was a key inside it, tied with a green ribbon. Mother, what key is this? Um, it is just a very old key. Let's put it back. And now go out and play. Letitia could not stop thinking about the key. Could it be the key to the green door? The more Letitia thought of it, the more she longed to try the key. Her opportunity came one Sunday. Letitia, we are going out. Stay indoors and finish your homework. I shall come back and check. As soon as her parents drove off, she got the old key from the attic and ran with it into the garden. Carefully, she put the key inside the lock and turned it. The door opened and Letitia got inside. But what was this? This was no room. This was a forest. A huge, thick, dense forest. Letitia turned behind, but there was no door behind her. Where have I reached? Goodness! The door! Where's the door? When Letitia heard wolves howling and lions roaring, she got so scared that she ran. She ran for her life. Not knowing where she was going, suddenly, out of the woods, a hand grabbed Letitia, 
put her on a horse and rode off. Come in, child. You should be safe here. Oh, dear. You must be so cold. Come here. Sit by the fire. I found her running in the woods. The wolf pack must have been about. Goodness, their howls. Oh, poor thing. She must have been so scared. Peggy, take her to your room and give her one of your dresses. Letitia was in a daze. She kept looking at the family. There was something really curious about them. Letitia could not quite put a finger on it, and then it hit her. This was John Hopkins, her great, great grandfather, and the lady was Maria, his wife. And the little girl, Peggy, was her great, great aunt. What was happening? Could it be possible that the green door had led her into her family's past? Oh goodness, is this real? While she was engrossed in her thoughts, her great grand aunt gave her a plain dress with a smile. I don't like this dress. It is too boring and too big. What do you mean it's too boring? I find your dress a bit too showy. If you want to stay here, this is how you will have to dress. And where are these shoes? These? These are wooden. Don't you have soft leather or rubber or satin? What? You say the strangest things. What are you even talking about? Now get dressed and come down, else Mother will be cross. Letitia had no option but to wear that too big, ill-fitting dress and how her feet hurt to wear those wooden shoes. When she limped downstairs and saw the food... What is this now? Oh, it is corn porridge. Can't you recognize it? But I... Uh, I don't like it. Well, this is all you are going to get here. It is your wish whether you want to eat or not. And after lunch, you girls better get on with the spinning. You too. But I don't know how to spin. <gasps> you don't know how to spin? Have you learned nothing in life? Peggy, show her how to spin, will you? Yes, mother. And Letitia was taught how to spin and make her own clothes. Then there was cooking in huge stone kitchens on an oven with blazing fire. It would get hot and suffocating for Letitia. Also, they had to do their own cleaning and washing. Oh, how poor Letitia missed her home. How she longed for the same cabbage soup she hated and wear the same dresses she despised. One day, as she was cleaning the attic of the house, she found a curious box exactly like the one in her home. She opened it and saw the same kind of key with a green ribbon. What is this? Does this belong to a green door? Maybe. There is a door outside the north wall of the house. Our parents have forbidden me to ever open it, and I won't. Girls, come down for dinner. Come in. Well, your father and I are going to the Wendells. Stay at home and be good. The girls sat spinning again when there was a knock on the door. Letitia was shocked to see that it was Jack Peabody, the boy next door in her original house. Yes, our parents are not home. Sorry, I lost my way in the woods. It is getting rather dark, and I saw a pack of wolves out and about. Do you mind if I take shelter here for some time? I haven't seen you around here. I stay ten miles away with the Carringtons. I heard wolves and ran in the forest and lost my way. Oh, we know the Carringtons. We met last year at Christmas. Very well. Come in. Thank you. Uh, can I get some water to drink? Well, all right. 
Aren't you Letitia, my neighbor? And you're Jack Peabody. How did you get here? Through a book. A green book with a lock. A book? With a lock? I got here through a green door, which also had a lock. I landed in my great-great-grandfather's home for months now. I too ended up in my great-great-grandfather's home for months now. While I have been here, I have worked harder than what I have ever worked in my life. Same here. My hands are sore with all the work. I have never done a third of it back home. We, we have, have taken, taken our lives back home so much for granted. How I long to go back. You know, I saw a book similar to the one I came by, here, with the same lock. I intend opening it. Is there a similar green door here, too? Yes. That night, Letitia sneaked into the attic, got the key, ran to the north wall from outside the house, and found the door. With trembling hands, she opened the lock and entered her house. She ran into the garden. Mother! Father! I am back! I am back! Back from? And Letitia admitted to them her entire adventure. Back then, everything was so hard to do and to get. After seeing those times, I will never, ever complain about anything ever again. I love cabbage soup, and oh, Daddy, I love the dress you got me, and I shall study and study and study and write my neatest handwriting with my brand new pencils and pens. I am so sorry for having been such a pain. And... Sorry for disobeying you and opening the green door. <laughs> well, I guess you asked for it, Letitia. When we don't respect what we have, life teaches us the hard way. But wait a sec. I was at that place for months, yet you were just getting back home the same afternoon. Time moves much faster in the past than in the present, my dear. What was a few months in the past is only a couple of hours in the present. And then another car sped in the driveway and out came Mr. and Mrs. Peabody with their son Jack Peabody. Jack saw Letitia and Letitia saw Jack. Both of them winked at each other. Now, if they were to share this great secret with others, do you think anyone would ever believe them?